so shout out to my brother he was the one that informed me there's going to be an alignment today with the planets it's gonna form a bethlehem star everybody has seen it everywhere and talked about it basically the whole month of december a lot of astrologists think this is gonna be the end of the old world and the old energies and it's gonna be a renewal of new and positive energies taking over the world it's gonna happen about 20 minutes i might be a little bit superstitious but i am a hardcore believer and i'm a woman of faith so i believe something great is gonna happen out of this beliefs aside we get to see something that a lot of people on this earth will never get to see in their lifetime you get to live through my experience with this i'll see you out there hey guys so i'm out here and i'm looking right now for the star but i wanted to be safe so i wanted to come out two minutes earlier not too early and i got my binoculars I'm so ready. I wish we had a telescope. We got these party lights on because this is basically a party. So far, we're not seeing anything, but we're going to see something real soon. This is all I see right now. That's all I see. I don't know if that is anything, but I think that the fog is covering it because I did see it and I got excited. I was like, what is that? That looks like a star being formed, but I thought it would be like more clear. I'm kind of disappointed because when I went out there, I expected to see the Star of Bethlehem. But great things are going to happen either way. Right now, I'm going to go get me a treat to help me cope with my disappointment. I wanted to bring you along on my drive for a little bit because this is a vlog and I want y'all to be a part of almost every part of it. I'll see you when I get home. Bye. Good afternoon, everybody. So, I've been enjoying my bed a little bit too much for the past hour. Yeah, I'm enjoying my break. Don't judge me. But now I'm gonna go get something to eat. That is my productive task because it is the break. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna stop being corny. I'm going to have leftover pizza. It's the break time. Give me a break. I was not about to cook anything. I was not about to be healthy. And you're gonna watch me eat it. I uploaded my video today and I feel productive. Little did you know I look like this when I uploaded my video. I'm gonna eat two whole slices. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Nina, two whole slices? Like, that's not a lot. I usually eat six. I get it, okay? <laughs> I eat six too. I'm kidding. I eat about three or four. Four if I'm really hungry. Three for sure. I have two and then an hour later, I'll have one more. Everything might not go as planned, but I'm telling you right now, I want to do something extraordinary today. Nina! Nina is the queen of this house right now. So I'm probably gonna exercise later today. No promises, this is a vlog. I might not follow up with some of the things I might say I do. So it's like I'm living life like I would, but I have a best friend with me that I get to talk to the whole day. Never mind. Not best friend because Angel's gonna get jealous. Oh, 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 I sound like Beyonce, right? Well, spoiler alert, I'm about to look like Beyonce. Like me. Someone very close to me wants to go see Christmas lights with me. I knew something extraordinary would happen today. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, come back, and then do my first little get ready with me. I'll be back. All right, so I'm out of the shower now. I'm feeling more fresh. Just so you know, my eyes look a little bit red. It's because I accidentally got shampoo in my eye because I'm Nina. And now I'm gonna focus on the face and do my makeup. Just so you know, I'm not a makeup expert. I received makeup a year and a half ago. I'm a beginner, sort of, still. I like the natural look the best. So this is me doing makeup for 15 seconds and not even finishing the whole look. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. I forgot to show you at the house, but Josh is inside getting snacks for us, so I took off my mask real quick, and I thought I'd show you how I look. My curls are popping, even though I don't have any gel in them or any conditioner. I wrapped it up in a towel and just made sure that they were dry, which is a trick if you want to get ready fast. My makeup is a little bit crazy. I ended up doing three shades on here, and I did the corner, so yeah. I kind of did like a whole blend routine for my makeup and my look. I'm wearing a turtleneck and then I'm wearing a long black jacket. I'll show you more when we get outside and look at lights, but um, I just wanted to give you a quick look of my makeup real quick. So we're downtown. We're having a great time so far. It's freezing, but we have like really nice jackets on. Josh is a polar bear because 
He never gets cold. <laughs> I, however, have like an amazing jacket on. Yeah, we're staying six feet because I'm trying to show my lipstick off. There's no other people here. He's being very protective over me. He told me to slow down. Oh, I think we should not. I think we should go get Mexican food for sure. Don't act like you don't like water. <laughs> Everybody likes water. I guess. So we're passing the river walk and it's pretty nice. This is the extraordinary day that I wanted. So I'm really happy, especially because I'm here with him and <laughs> I know I have to do that because we can't touch. He's so handsome. He's such a handsome friend. Oh my gosh. I know. I want to live in the city so bad. Until I don't. So we have the river walk all to ourselves. He's, a duck. He's such a good person. Oh, there's a duck in the water. Gotcha, you, gotcha, you, go. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> He's a great person no matter what. No matter what happens between us. I really, I care about him. We're walking down here and it looks a little bit creepy, but that makes it have a little bit more edge. Yeah, that light over there, that's not, yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good on that. <laughs> he has a point. It looks really creepy. It reminds me of the time where we went to come see the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> and how all the lights were flick. <laughs> <That's so> scary. <laughs> Someone wanted to stop and do a makeup. Yeah, I had to do my makeup. I had to look good for him. You don't need makeup. He's so sweet. I had to look presentable for you. You're, um... You're the one that took me to this. It's really windy out here, but we had plans. We're gonna stick to them. So we got some nice fits going on. He has some cute sweatpants, nice sweater. No, for all, he looks cute. I, however, have a nice outfit too. I got some. <laughs> I'm wearing. Okay, see you. Show me that Louis Vuitton first. <laughs> I got this from a flea market. <laughs> so yeah, we're being active up these stairs. This is fun. I'm just exploring. This reminds me of old times. He bought me tickets for the Majestic Theater to see the Phantom of the Opera. My favorite. Night trips are the best. Yes, this is the adventurous. So I had to put my, oh, there's a leaf in my hair. I can't wait till we eat though, because we are starving. We are starving. I starved myself all day for this. I had to, I knew I was gonna eat a lot with him because he's fun to eat with. Like, it's just fun because he encourages me to eat a lot. Try. No, he knows the directions and I, yeah. And I visit here a lot more than he does. so nice out here, it's, yeah. He found the end. He found the end, of course he did. So, now we're gonna get something to eat. It's really late, but we're gonna still get something to eat because the night is still young, but we're still hungry, so it doesn't matter. Hey guys, so we stopped at Whataburger and yeah. I'm waiting for Josh. He's getting us napkins right now, so. All right, so I had a great time with Josh. I felt really magical and extraordinary, especially with everything going on lately, and I have some makeup on. Some of it stayed on after all that wind, so. I'm gonna take a shower, take my makeup off. 
good morning so it is december 24th so merry christmas eve so i got a cold brew from on the grind and it is candy cane flavored it has a foam on the top and oh my gosh to be honest i'm more of an on the grind person than a starbucks person i just think they're better and they're more affordable i'm gonna stop blabbing and go to the store and just hurry up and buy all the stuff so we can get to the rest of this day all right so i bought all the stuff we needed and now i'm gonna head inside and start the baking now it's time to bake i have my rudolph shirt on i have my bun to make sure my hair doesn't get in the food and i'm ready so while i was gone nana had already made the sand tarts this is how they look i tried one and they are delicious the texture is so good it's not like too hard they're really rich and delicious so nana went to work with this while i was shopping we already have this ready for christmas and now we're gonna do our other dishes by the way when i had bought these i thought that they didn't come with a gingerbread shape but they actually do this is how it looks it looks so cute. We're gonna make two types of cookies. One is a gingerbread cookie and the other one is the Mexican wedding cookies. And I'm not gonna explain everything because this is a vlog, not a full on tutorial. It's just like a, my experience with this. So here I go. So this is the final result of some of my best work for the gingerbread and this one right here my cousin helped me with <laughs> don't worry this one right here my cousin did a great job and he also helped me with this one I forgot to show y'all, but these are the finished results of the other cookies. These are the Mexican wedding cookies me and Nana were working on. So we are all set for Christmas and we're excited. All right, so I finished icing some of the gingerbread and I finished all of the gingerbread. I'm gonna try one. I just wanna make sure they're good before I decide and give them out to my family. So I'm gonna try this one. That's actually really good. I messed up with the instructions at first, so my measurements were a little bit off, but I ended up fixing it. It took me longer than I thought it would, but at least I had fun making gingerbread. Okay, so now that I'm done baking everything and running errands today and being busy today, I'm going to relax now and pop some corn and then make some hot cocoa. So tonight I decided to roast marshmallows and make s'mores, join my festivities. I decided to switch it up and put strawberry and the regular marshmallow. I love how warm it feels. It feels like the fires of 2020. It feels like hell. Anyways, today I'm definitely going to be getting fat and that means that I am snacking because it is Christmas Eve and I'm not holding back. So while I do this, I'm not just going to have you staring at me while I prepare my s'more. I am going to be spilling some tea. 
except it's not actual drama it's gonna be news like what's going on lately the first subject is COVID-19. A lot of people want to have fun and I completely understand that but I also feel like there's a limit. For some of y'all I don't know the Spanish influenza lasted only over a year. That took out one third of the world. So if you think about it we are in a pandemic and it's not taking out as much people but if we just stay safe and the technology we have today we're able to be online a lot and we're able to talk to our friends still whereas back then they were not. I think it's more possible and I think it's easier to stay inside more often than outside. I think that this can end in like two years at the most. It's already reaching its one year mark point. That's sad, but that's just because we have not been as safe as we should have been. On December 21st, black people were supposedly supposed to get powers. I totally was looking forward to that. If I had gotten Mother Nature's powers, then I would have spread world peace instantly and just we won't have a lot of fight in the world. A lot less homeless people, fruitfulness all over the land, and it would just solve all of our issues. It might be a boring power to some people to spread world peace, but I think it is the most extraordinary one. I'm going to take a bite out of this s'more. I know it doesn't look big, but I don't need a big s'more. Do y'all like my earrings? I think they're so cute. They're jingle bells and they're green and they have red little ribbons on them and they jingle. Hey. Hey, answer. So, this is what you're looking at right now. Wow. So, thank you. Right? Thank you. Pajamas? Yes. You got me the blue pajamas. Yes. I love them. I wear them like every day when it's not Christmas time. <laughs> I'm making s'mores right now. And this is how it looks. I know. I put on some earrings to be a little bit more festive and I know I put on earrings earlier but these are so cute. Do y'all like them? I'm gonna be using my new Christmas mug that I bought for myself. Last year, I'll tell you what, there was a time where the dolphins were undefeated. Let us know. 